let's go ahead and talk about productivity tools. In this video, we're going to talk about the productivity tools that I use. And yes, of course, I do have a lot to say about how to be productive and I keep myself very productive as far as I think. And in case you haven't watched one of my talk, which is on modern time management, you, you should go ahead and check out that. That was one of the TEDx talk, a heavily viewed, a high viewed uh, talk that you should watch. It is not your ordinary books which just says, hey, keep your mobile phones away and all of that. It's, it's a modern concept and modern take on how one should be productive. And that's exactly what I'll be doing in this video. There are a lot of tools that I use. Some of them I pay uh, for it and I pay from my own pocket. It's not sponsored or something. I pay for these tools. You don't have to pay any for any one of them. I'll just walk you through what I personally use, where the AI part of this is going on and how I keep myself productive. So that's a whole raw kind of a video where I'll just walk you through what I use, for what purpose I use them and how the thing looks like to be that much productive, to put up a course on Udemy, to use uh, all of my time in workout, maintaining this channel and another Hindi channel. So a lot goes on into my life. And I think a breakdown might help you a little bit to get yourself a tiny bit more productive. So that's all for this video. And in case you are new here, my name is Hitesh. I make a lot of coding videos and uh, I talk about what's happening latest in the tech. I talk about AI. I talk about building uh, things along with me like SaaS application or React application and all of that. So in case you're new here, consider hitting subscribe and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let me share the screen with you. Uh, we'll be uh, getting in a very organized way of how things are going on and what productivity I'm looking up for and how this is go going on. So the first thing about the productivity that I would like to go on uh, with the AI assistant. So this is one thing which I think everybody needs to have in this modern age. Assistant, come on, I can write that, AI assistant. And turns out there are a lot of AI assistant which can help you to work out with the things. And there is no shortage of them. And in case you are looking forward for that, there are uh, like OpenAI as known as uh, ChatGPT. We have uh, Gemini uh, from the Google, which is absolutely free. Even OpenAI is up to a lot of extent is also free. And we also do have a uh, Claude from Anthropic, a uh, lot of them. What I believe is you definitely should be having at least one of them in your daily day to life. Along with the Googling of the stuff, if you try to use them, because this is going to become de facto very soon in the future. So I think using all of them or at least one of them is going to definitely make you productive. I'm mostly biased towards the open AI still. I'm an early user of this product and I use that. Uh, Gemini also, I am uh, not super happy with that. Uh, the results are decent, great, uh, not that much useful. Probably it's not in my flow that much. That might be the case. Uh, Claude, uh, I have recently started to use it for uh, a whole lot of code and how does it behave. It's just an exploration phase. I don't do much of the research or ask questions to it. Let's just say I forgot that what's the command for uh, doing certain things. I prefer to go in the open AI and uh, use for it. That's, that's one of the case. So I think that in today's modern age and world, there needs to be at least one of the coding assistant or AI assistant that you should have. Almost every product is getting built up just with the AI assistant. And what's happening and what I'm able to see now that you don't need a separate app for the AI assistant. This whole thing is getting very mushed up. Now, wherever you're using, there is, there is an AI assistant in whatever you are doing. I'll walk you through with that, that how this all is changing. So this brings us to another productivity tool that I use, which is uh, Terminal. So I do a lot of work in the Terminal. Uh, terminal. So uh, Terminal, uh, command line prompt, whatever you want to call, I use this a lot. And one of the productivity hack that I use is with the warp. Warp, uh, the reason for using warp as a terminal because it comes up with its own AI tool and AI assistant. So I don't need to jump into another AI tools and start with that. And that's what I'm seeing. You'll notice that as I mentioned, more of these productivity tool, they are coming up with their own wrappers, or I would say not wrapper would not be a correct word, own implementation of the how the things actually work. So for example, in the work, most of the time I'm asking it's the question around uh, DevOps stuff. I forgot a command. I forgot how to open up the ports or I forgot how to have a firewall setup. I can just quickly ask in the terminal and don't need to leave the app and I can just quickly just get the job done. The whole point of this whole productivity thing is get the job done. So whatever helps me to do so, whatever helps me to do faster, that's what I'm, my pick is. So 
I was really a lot into the AI assistance of that initially, but then I moved into the app and now whatever the app I'm using, it's actually serving me as like, hey, this is all needs to go. So for the terminal, I'm using Warp and uh, I haven't checked their website for, for a while. What's happening there? So, yep, looks same. Yeah, looks same. Anyways, let's go ahead and next. Uh, obviously, you need to take notes. And this is where I'm little uh, onto a different side of the things. Obviously, you need to take notes. What I'm using for taking the notes are actually two versions of it. First of all, I'm still a old school. So I am now onto the iPad. So I take all of my notes on the iPad with the Apple Pencil. Uh, I tend to use it. I love it. I can share the notes and everything. And whenever whatever I'm writing, I can make videos with that. So that's one of the reasons why I prefer iPad a lot. I can write down my raw original thoughts into that. But apart from this, I use one more thing, which is Notion. Uh, Notion has been a part of my day-to-day -day writing the notes and everything for a really long time. So these two things are still there. And what's interesting is I initially used to like brush up these thoughts and everything using another AI assistant come up here. But now Notion is also tends to providing me the AI uh, to rephrase the things and sometimes just get the idea, really nail it down. So use that. Another thing for which I use Notion is actually YouTube also. So this YouTube stuff, uh, I know this is not a productivity thing for all of you that not all of you does the YouTube kind of a thing. Uh, but I actually go ahead and do a lot of things off YouTube. The videos needs to come out or I need to take idea from the team or I need to give them idea that, hey, this video is ready. You need to give me thumbnail for that. That all still is happening through the Notion. So it's a great collaborative tool. And I find out myself that until unless things goes into that Kanban board, like I can drag and drop to see, hey, if this video needs to be recorded, it's recorded. Until unless that, uh, things are not moving for me at least. So this is another productivity tool for the notes. I'm using iPad. Uh, you can use pen and paper. No need to buy an iPad for that. Of course, not sponsored by Apple or anything. And you can use Notions for that. And of course, there are other alternatives as well. If you know some of them, uh, do let me know for any of the category. If you know some alternative uh, that you want me to try out something, then yes, go ahead for that. Another of uh, the productivity hack for which which I use the stuff is editor. Oh boy, that this is a war. I'll make a separate dedicated video on the editor's war that is going on on that. But surprisingly, I am still on uh, VS Code or also known as just the code as editor. It's Technically not VS Code, it's just a code. You get the point. So for the whole of the editor jargons, I'm using still code, VS Code. I know there is cursor out in the market. I know there's Z, there's void. I'll talk about them separately, but as of now, the editor of the choice is just VS Code. I'm super fast in that. I know a lot of keyboard shortcuts and the flow, the whole mechanics is set up for me. So I'm not looking forward to change at least as of now, but definitely I'm always open in in trying out the new things. But what has changed in the VS Code are the plugins and extensions. A lot of extensions, again, as I said, there is an AI integration everywhere, so I'm using a lot of them. So some of the AI helper, uh, definitely I highly recommend you to also try some of them. Uh, I've been using Codium, I've been using Supermaven, I've been using GitHub Copilot, whichever works in what, uh, I tend to just lean on that. These days I'm using uh, Codium much more uh, than anything else. It works, I like it. But again, you don't need to use this specifically what I'm mentioning. What I'm saying is try to use at least one of them. This will help you because these days, uh, recently I was talking to the founders of Hashnode and they said, hey, we have integrated GitHub Copilot. Every single developers, we have bought the license, we have, we have given it to them that, hey, use it. Days are not really far where your organization will buy these kinds of licenses or will uh, simply say that, hey, go ahead and use it so that you can be more productive and more faster of the thing, do things faster. And at that time, if this tab is bothering you too much that, hey, I'm not able to accustom with the tabs hitting and saying that, hey, which one is working, it might be really late for you. So at least go ahead and use some of the helper. One of the best thing which I like about these helper is uh, writing my GitHub uh, push messages. I am really bad in that. And all these AI helpers, when I click on that GitHub message, it does write it automatically based on the context and what I've worked. Oh man, that very tiny thing, but I somehow like it. Probably not much of a big deal for you, but yeah, this is for me. Uh, last one that I have noticed recently uh, works really, really well is uh, time tracking. And uh, turns out there are a lot of time tracking applications that you can install your system. 
some of the companies which allows you to do remote work, they actually install these kinds of application in your system. And I happen to have one on my machine on my own. Nobody installed it for me, I install it to keep a track of productivity, how much productive I am on the system or I'm just scrolling the reels. Once you have that measure and the metrics, turns out it's really nice. Another thing which I really like is a constant reminder of the time that how is it passing and all. If you notice here, on the, if I open up a new tab, you see this, uh, this year will end in three months. It keeps me on the track that, hey, there's only three months left in a year. So I keep these things, whatever the target I have, I actually use this. So track your time, some kind of extension or something, whatever you want to use uh, in the browser, on the mobile phone. Even I have a app on mobile phone which tells me that how much time it is left for a year. You can mark it for any of the event or any date that you can mark. It was paid, I paid for it. I think it's worth it. Whenever I pick up my phone, I see that uh, widget first that, hey, the time is constantly ticking. I'm not uh, left with much of the time. So yeah, that's one part of it. Another thing which I really like is uh, the Google Calendar. The Google Calendar helps me to uh, allow me to have more time. And what I do is I mark my calendar for the events and the things which are coming up, which are really important for me. For example, most of the time around one o'clock in the afternoon, I need to be in the gym. So I just mark my calendar as uh, from one to one, th from one to two thirty around. I need to be in the gym, so. It gives me a good reminder and uh, everybody in my team, there are not many people in my team, but they know that this is a reserved slot. We cannot book anything on that time. So yeah, this actually helps. Again, there is no nothing groundbreaking. I just thought that let me share this, how I keep a track of everything and how I'm doing it. So just a quick summary of that. Uh, yes, this was the whole idea, AI assistant. I'm still into it and a lot of things. But turns out I realized that every single app that I use or every single thing is offering the AI assistant. Why to jump into different apps? So for the terminal, I switched into Warp, uh, which gives me AI assistant, does the job. For the notes, I switched on to Notion. I was in the Notion already. And on the iPad. Uh, for the editor, I'm still in the VS Code and I use AI helpers a lot. I highly recommend you to also try it. Some people absolutely hate it. It doesn't allow them to think and go into the Zen mode. But I think you need to get accustomed to that. We are moving toward, we have already moved into AI age. And this one is really important, time tracking. You have really no idea, once you start measuring your time and the productivity when you're doing so, uh, it actually makes you much more organized and focused. Whenever I, it's not like I'm not taking off time or I'm not scrolling the reels, but at least I'm not doing sitting here. I want to just scroll the reel, I'll go outside of the room, I'll be on the sofa and scroll that, so that I know I'm, I'm intentionally doing it. And when I'm here, I'm the most productive uh, as far as I know. So this is the basics of how the productivity looks like. I hope you have gathered some of the insights from it. I like to keep things simple, no too many fancy stuff, just keep it the basics and keep everything less cluttered. Nothing is on my desk usually, nothing is on my desktop. I'd like to keep my desktop absolutely clean, not too many icons and everything. The more you keep yourself organized and clean, uh, I find myself being more productive. So that is it, a really no-nonsense guide about being productive with the tech tools. Uh, hope this has helped you. In case, yes, uh, do let me know in the comment section. I would absolutely love to make more such videos for you. That is it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.